Hello, in this video we are going to look at the UI rich text and the UI rich text you can think of as a container and it allows you to display some text but you can have certain chunks of the text, basically sections, they can have their own properties so they can have their own colour, font size, change the font even, what's in them, that sort of stuff. So it's really cool for creating titles just using font items but instead of having to position manual labels and then just trying to get them to work well you can just create a continuous flow of text but have certain segments with different properties and each segment is basically a rich element aka a UI rich element. So before you get onto the coding make sure you've got a project set up obviously make sure you've got your project set up to use the UI plugin if you haven't don't worry there'll be a link in the description. Once you're all done with that we're ready to start coding our UI rich text so UI colon colon rich text rich text equals UI colon colon rich text colon colon create this takes zero parameters now we're going to do rich text ignore ignore content adapt with size I'm going to put this as false we'll show you what happens when you do it as true it's best if I just show you once we've got the entire UI rich text set up rich text set content size and for this I'm going to put size 120 by 500 I'm going to set the position now set position and for the position I'm simply gonna put it on the center of the screen so that'll be visible size dot width divide by 2 plus origin dot x visible size dot height divide by 2 plus origin dot y and now we've for the most part got our UI rich text set up at the moment it doesn't actually contain any UI rich elements so we're just going to create them now so UI colon colon rich element you can do an image or text we're just going to be dealing with a text item what we want you to do is actually check out the image item it's pretty self-explanatory what it is and how to use it if you just check the IntelliSense it should be all good so text I'm going to call it re1 equals UI rich element text colon colon create this takes a bunch of parameters the first is the tag this is just a way to identify it later you need to set a tag but you don't need to use it so we're just going to put one because it's the first one and for the color I'm just going to put color free B I'm just going to simply put it as white the opacity I'm going to put 255 so it's fully visible so that ranges between zero being invisible and 255 the text is what you want to display so I'm going to put this color is white and now for the font name you specify the font that you want to use aka the file path so I've already got a font file right here so I'm going to put impertinencia I think that's how you pronounce it got it off dafont.com that website is epic check it out dafont.com for the font size I am just going to put 24 that's reasonably big now what I'm going to do just duplicate this change this to 2 I'm going to change the tag to 2 and for the color actually I'm going to paste them all because I'm going to do I'm going to do 6 so for the color I'm going to do yellow and uh, for the actual text itself I'm going to put and this is yellow I'm actually going to put no font or specify no font and what this does it falls back to the font that Cocos has specified so that's the way you just use the default font is by not specifying a font or if you specify a font that doesn't exist your fallback as well so okay let's just remove these errors so four five six but let's go down vertically like this it just seems to be easier 
So basically from now all these rich elements you'll create them depending on how you want your game to appear. So I'm just putting some different colors. I'm gonna put orange for this one. Um for this I'm going to put this one is blue. For this I'm gonna put and this is green. This is well red. I'm gonna put well done at the end. And now what we need to do is actually add these rich element text items to our rich text object that we got right here because otherwise they don't do anything. So we need to do rich text, push back element. So it just pushes it onto rich text or into rich text I should say. And I'm going to specify RE1, copy and paste this. Two, three, four, five. You might be wondering why I've only done five. That's because I'm going to show you how to add a rich text using the insert element method. So rich text insert element so you specify the element that you want to insert so re6 then you specify the index that you want to insert it at and like most things is to do with computing it starts at zero so this would be as index zero this will be at this will be at index one index two three For, so the sixth item that we're going to add goes into index 5 semicolon and the last thing to do is this add child and just add the rich text element and now we're actually ready to run this in our simulator. Okay so there we go we've got our rich text element as you can see the first element is different in terms of its font everything else has different colors but the actual font is the same so there you can see the different font working you don't have to have the same size so i'm going to put this as something crazy like 72 i'm going to put this at, mm, put this at nine so run that it's going to look weird but it will definitely illustrate the point that we are trying to make yeah that looks really whack so let's just tone it down a bit because you can't even see it so there you go we have a bigger font size for the green element which is 36 and we have a smaller font size which is 9 for the yellow element so I said we'll show you what this does so if I set this to true It just puts it all on one line. Basically, it ignores the content size that has been set. So I'm just gonna put it back to false. And the last thing is, this is actually a task for you. You can remove elements within rich text. So I want you to check that out, check the different methods. I've pretty much said it, remove element. So try doing that yourself. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php. There will be a link in the description so you don't need to remember that. Please rate and subscribe as it does really help keep the content free and it also really helps us provide more content on a regular basis. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.